Hey everyone, Reese here, and I'm here to do our Boxing Day Tricks video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you 17 tricks that you could do on Boxing Day, as well as on Boxing Eve, which is tonight. Without any further ado, let's get to these, let's get to these 17 tricks. So what is our first one? This is, I'm going to give that one to you right now, and that is the Fist Appearing Coins. That's a trick. Here's what this will look like. Here is the performance. You see this? Oh, and by magic, they appear in my hand. How would I do this? I'll show you how it's done right now. All you need is some coins in the right currency, two or more. Can I just put it together just like this and place just here? You must have a long sleeve shirt for this one. Make sure it's getting close, going into your hand like this. That way you can easily just fall down like that. So from here, you're going make, to make your fist, very quick fist motion. And just do that. And by magic, making coins appear in your fist. A very quick master trick that you could do on Boxing Day as well as on Boxing Eve. And that right there is how you could do the fist appearing coins master trick. Making our way to our second trick, and that is the vanishing snowflake master trick. Here's what this snowflake will vanish like. Here is the performance. You can see here, I got my snowflake. Watch. I'm just gonna just stick my head here. So I'm just gonna stuff this to my fist. Watch. And by magic, I make it disappear. But wait, watch this. Can this go into my hand again? And I'm doing that. So how I did this as is I'm about to reveal. Secret. What you need? Well, it's two things. One, a snowflake. And you'll need is some scotch tape for this one. What you want to do here is you're going to get yourself just a little bit of tape, just like this. And you're going to roll it up like this. Make double-sided, or you can use double-sided tape and stick it into the back of your hand just like this, right here. What you want to do is, as we put this into your hand, you're going to actually put it here and stick it like this, so here, like this, stick, on, hold, and just do that. As, as it is now, you're gonna get it makes a fist, open it a little bit wider, and stick it in like this. Make sure that you have your fingers go in, rotate this up, like this. Okay? It's like this. Make sure this is not so. Go at a slant, like this. That. Hold. And end up doing that. And by magic, making a snowflake vanish in your hand. And that right there is how you do the vanishing snowflake magic trick. Coming into our trick number three. And that is the Boxing Day Bill Print magic trick. Here's what this bill will print like. Here's the performance. So I got two bills here. You can see here. You can see this one here. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you. Completely blank. And all you see is this. 
we're gonna wait for this to take this take spell. Watch very carefully as I just take the pill and end up printing the back of it. So hi, I just one. Hopefully that was done right now. Here, you'll be needing is three bells. Okay, so the first two are okay. What I'm going to do is going to is copy another one that has a blank side and only one side. So you're going to uh, print yourself just one back of your bill. Any bill doesn't have to be these. I can get your uh, bills in the right, right currency to make this as well too. Okay, so here is how to pull this off. Okay, what you want to do is going to take this, I line it up like this. Like that. Put it together just like that. That is a setup. So gonna do is gonna take a look at there. Could just turn this around like this. And so here's clear, and here's like this. I'll show the bill first, pass around. And then go like that. What you want to do is you're going to take this side here, place it on top, and then just pick this off like this. And give it a print back in front, drop this down, and so back in front of each bill. Makes it the perfect master trick that you could do on Boxing Day and on what? Boxing Eve. And that right there is how you do the Boxing Day Bill print magic trick making its way to our fourth trick on and that is the knife in the phone magic trick prank here is the performance of what this one will look like so you see my phone here and I got this you see watch this Very carefully here. It was went right through my phone and it's stuck in it. But watch. Very carefully. Completely unharmed. How that is? I'll show you how it's done. All you need is a butter knife, a cell phone, but you also need this. It actually is a part of a cell phone. It becomes one with a cell phone. This is a covering for the cell phone. You just go just like this. It's a ring. This will allow the knife to fit in like this and stay in one place. Like this. So it creates the illusion that it's right through the phone. So what you want to do is we're gonna sew the phone like this. First, with the knife, tap it like that. Keeping this press down a little bit like this. What you want to do is we're gonna go like this, open this up a little bit. And slip the knife in back here like this. And then it does this. Hold the phone, and the knife is sticking right inside it. Again, you here. But over here, creates the illusion of the knife being a the knife of pailment through the phone. Once it's done, hand over and pull up dramatically like that. 
it was done, pass the phone around for inspection. If it gets off, that's okay too. They can take a look at this, but they'll be very awed and amazed to see that you shanked a butter knife right into a cell phone. And that right there is how you do the knife in the phone magic trip prank. Now that brings us down to our fifth trick. And that is the coin, the, the coin through the cell phone magic trick. Here's what this one will sell like. Here is the performance. So you can see I got my nice, my nice coin here, and I got my cell phone. You can see. I put this over here just like this. Watch very carefully. Can this take this rub? Anyone go to yet, but wait, watch this. I just do it again, just a nice good sweep over, just like this. Watch very carefully until I get it to this rub right through. So, how do this? I'll show you right now. All you need is a flat cell phone and a coin, and your local right currency. What you're gonna do is you're gonna patch these two around for inspection. Use the coin and tap. What you wanna do is you're gonna actually sweep this in and you'll let it fall underneath and then pick it up like this. This is happening when your hand is giving it a cover. So again, like that, and then like that. Fast, they go, go like this. Rub, and then does that. And by magic, passing a, co a coin right through a phone. Now you could do these with um, with iPods as well as other cellular devices that look similar to the size of this. It's in flat size. And that right there is how you do the coin through the cell phone magic trick. It's way down to our sixth trick, and that is the Boxing Day Color Joker magic trick. Here is the swim mill color bike. You see, I got my two here, I got this one card here. Watch this, I place this. Just see here, watch. Watch the Joker. By magic, I give a color. So how do I do this? I'll show you how it's done right now. Is it gonna need to make this happen? All you need is jump old playing cards. I'll take them out a little bit here so you can see what they're like. They look just like this. And it comes with a colored joker and a non-colored joker. Okay, what you want to do is going to place the colored joker in the back of any card of your preference. Just like this. And only so this. Pass this around for inspection. So the backs and the fronts. Place the one that needs to be colored into your right or left hand. Pull downward very carefully and give it color. Once it's done, dish this into your lap and pass this around for card inspection. You can find these in the local game store where they sell the cards and other games on whatever side you can um, see them on. So you can look for something just like this for those amazing wonderful card tricks you could do with jumbo cards and that right there is how you do the boxing day color joker magic trick bringing us down to our trick number seven and that is the invisible cell phone magic trick here's what this one will look like here is the, here is the performance 
So you can see I got my cell phone, and I got this. And just give this a cover. Watch very, very carefully at this. That magically turns invisible. But wait, watch this. We can just do it again. Just like this. Watch very, very carefully. Just give this a rub and make it come back again. So how I do this, I'll show you right now. All you need is a cell phone and a frame and a covering. What you want to do is you place a frame onto a cell phone just like this. It gives it space to get the phone out. Like that. You're going to do this under a cover of a cloth. So, I'll go like this. Use the fingers and pull away like that. Putting it to make it go back again. Go in, place, give it a rub, and make it up here. So, from here, get the covering, just like that. And, okay, invisible. And make it come right back after being invisible and have it to be seen. Make sure and a very amazing master trick that you could do that would definitely surprise everyone in the household for Boxing Day is on Boxing Eve. And that right there is how you do the invisible cell phone master trick. Working our way down to our trick number eight. And that is a cellular from the air magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. This here, watch this from my hand here, watch. And by magic, I get a cell phone from thin air. Now, as it is, I'm going to show you how this is done right now. All you need is a cell phone that looks just like this or something similar. It is the hold of the cell phone. What you want to do is you're going to hold it just like this. And you're going to hold it like this. So you're going to place it into your hand. And you do that. But when you have your hand completely out like this. So it's like this. Be very quick. Yes, having your hand to cut cover like this. So it does that. And by magic, getting a, uh, a cell phone from thin air. Very easy and very easy to do. And that right there is how you do this the uh, cell phone from thin air magic trick. Then here we can get right down to our trick number nine. And that is the mysterious shades case magic trick. Here is what this one will look like. Here's the performance. So you can see my shades case? There's nothing inside there? Watch. Very quickly here. I get this on the case. So how do I do this? I'll show you how it's done right now. All you need is a shades case that looks just like this. And a cell phone or anything small. What you want to do is make sure that you have a good deep size one to place this in. Like this. You're going to go just like this at an angle, and all you see is this. You're going to go like that. It goes in, make sure you co cover it, and then end up doing that. Make it, make, make it up here. So again, and fast, like this. Or if it kind of wobbles up, that's okay too. Like this. And by magic, making a cell phone appear in the Shay's case that you'll see just here. Good one you could do on Boxing Day and on Boxing Eve. Let's box that one out. Makes for a very quick and easy master, uh, master trick with not much prep at all. So it requires two things the uh, Shay's case and a small object, a cellular or whatever object you prefer to make it appear in the Shay's case. And that right there is how you do the mysterious shades case magic trick. Looking our way down to our trick number 10. That is the, mis the magic 
box mystery magic trick. Yeah, that's the performance. So you can see just an empty box here. Okay, good. These dudes are good. Actually, just uh, get the box put together just like this. That. Watch this. Just reach into that box. Watch very carefully. I got a bill. Got a stat. Many bills. So how do I do this? I'll show you how this is done right now. All you need is money and you collect currency or play money. Next you'll need is this very interesting magic box. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down to you right now. This box is a very special box. It has a console into it, just so you see right here. You can put small objects into this, including bills. Watch one here. Is it going to um, take your bills and wrap them up like this? Like that. And place into the console part just like this. Like that. What you're going to do is you're going to open it like this. This is facing you. Here, it looks like there's nothing in a box. Can you see me? My hands going right through the box. Like that, right? What I just want to do is before you close this in, you want to close this first. Like this. Then close this. And then seal it up. Go into the box, which is here. And just pull out bills. After you take out the bills, just find them out like this. A very great magic trick that you can do and pull off for Boxing Day. As long as on, you've got it, Boxing Eve. And that right there is how you do the magic box mystery magic trick. Coming into our trick number 11, and that is the holiday coffee mug magic trick. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. So here I got my coffee uh, coffee lid here, and I got this coffee mug here. I just go like, just like this, and I get this a close, just like this. Okay, so I get a stretch on here. Okay, good. Like that. There we go. Nice and sealed shut. Watch, let's get a little shake. Watch. By magic, I get a biscotti. Hi, right, this. I'll show you how it's done. I know. All you need is a biscotti. This goes well with um, coffee. And all you need is a festive looking coffee cup that has the lid to it. What you want to do here is you're going to take your biscotti and hold it like this. So the cup empty, places in the inside just like this, and give this a close like that. Give it a little shake. And then open the cap, go out a slant, go in and pull out the biscotti from the coffee mug that you'll see just right here. As we just done, let me take a look at the biscotti and take a look at the coffee mug for inspection. 
And that right there is how you do the holiday coffee mug magic trick. Coming in to our trick number 12, and that is the magic black tie and sack bag magic trick. Here's the performance. Okay, so here I've got my nice black tie. And I got a sack bag here. Open. Nothing's coming out. I place this black tie on the inside of that bag, just like this. Go in again. Black tie. Now is that look? Well, you see, just here. Look what it, look what it turned into. So how it is? I'll show you how it's done right now. All you need is what you're going to see here. That is a black tie or a white tie or a red tie of your preference but I must coincide with a TM tie or anything that's in pixel relation to the tie that you'll see just here what I just want to do is I'm going to preload this into this before the trick starts so we're going to just go in just like this That's all there is to it. Like that. You're gonna take your black tie, so make it open or you can unzip it and just and give it a shake. Make sure the tie does not fall out. And go like this, get a shake. Yeah, nothing is coming out of the bag. Going to take your tie and put it into the bag exactly just like this. Hold the bag and give it a few shakes. Go into the side, pull up this, make sure you pull the back out, and then just do this. And by magic, it prints a picture on the black tie. Once it's done, hold like this and give it a shake, showing that nothing is coming out. After it's done, pass the printed tie around for tie inspection. Last well, that, give it a look. Well, it has, it has Spider-Man and it has this flame guy that you'll see just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic black tie and sack bag magic trick. Coming in to our 13th one. And that is the Boxing Day Coffee Cup Trick Prank. Here is what this one will look like. Here is the performance. You can see I got my uh, coffee cup here. Mmm, that's good tasty coffee. Because you can just hold this here, hold my hand just like this. Watch very carefully. Oh. Very carefully, it's gonna hold this cup here like this. Watch. So how I do this? I'll show you how it's done right now. All you need is not a coffee cup. It actually is a thermos that has a handle. All I just want to do is I'm gonna turn the handle facing you. Like this, and hold it like this. And pretend to have coffee. Or if you have coffee, you can just so coffee coming out. What I want to do is I'm going to place this to hand like this. Hold and let's let go. Like that. So I'm going to hold it, I'm going to hold it, and then do that. Or I'm going to hold it and just go up. Like that. 
You can also make it levitate. Or you can just do, simply just do this. Pick it off. And do the same to the other hand. Like that. A cool one you could do. I'm going to impress your friends and family with the coffee cup. Badger trip prank. So now you know how it's done. So go go out for fun it and surprise, surprise someone today with this. And this is all that you'll need. It's just one simple thing and that's what you'll see this here. And that right there is how you do the Boxing Day Coffee Cup Trip Prank. You can also turn into magic by making it float, as you just seen. And coming into our next trick, and our trick number 14, and that is the holiday newspaper trick. Here is what this one will look like. Here is the performance. You can see I got my, uh, my paper here. I'm gonna go just like this. Watch this. I take my cup. Watch. So how do this? I'll show it's done right now. All you'll need is a cola glass. Then you'll need is probably the paper is a bottle filled with your juice or whatever you have or drink. All you need is the holiday paper. Best section in the paper that has this. What's what I do? Is have your glass empty before starting. You're going to take your paper, get your bottle, and place it in the of it just like this. So the hole is like this. I'm going to wrap this up just like this after showing it like this. Just wrap it. All you gotta do is you just take your cup, seal bowl, and it's like this. To their view, it looks like this. Nice holiday punch coming from the holiday paper and into a cola glass you can see just here. So it's done. Cheers to, to Boxing Day as well as New Year's coming straight up. And that right there is how you do the holiday newspaper trick. Coming into our trick number 15. And that is the capped... The cat coffee box. Magic trick. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. You see I got my cap here, and I got my coffee box. I just place my cap in just like, just like this. Watch this. Watch very carefully as I wait for a minute. I got a magic wand here. Let's see if it's a magic wand here. Watch. I go in. Seamless caps on the box. So how do this? I'll show it's done right now. All you'll need is a bunch of ball caps and a coffee box. What you want to do is going to start putting the hats into each other, just like this, and then place the hat like this. You're going to hold the hat batch like this. Then you can use this to put the caps in, like this. So you're gonna place it in, like that. What you're gonna do here is you're going to take each one out at a time, like this. So like this, you can put one in, take a one, 
wear one head, take out the other. Make sure the flap is like this, that way they don't get to see the tops of the caps. There. And there, which is done. So the hats and the coffee box. Since I've done a hat that matches well my 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 nice hoodie here, you know, wear this for the remainder of the, the video. And that right there is how you do the capped coffee box magic trick. Coming into our 16th one, and that is the magic droop magic box magic trick. Here is what this one will look like. So you can see this in here. I got my card here. And I got this. You can see what it says. Okay. Watch well, this. I got the bottom half of the card inside. Let's go like this. Like that. I'm gonna hold this card here. Watch. I change it inside the box. So how I do this? I'll show you how it's done right now. All you'll need is what you're gonna see here. You're gonna need three different jumbo cards from your jumbo pack. One you're gonna tape in the inside of this, like that. One you're gonna to tape where the film is. What I'm going to use is the other card for a covering on top of it like this to hide it. This will be the uh, change. So you're going to go in just like this, lift it up, like this. Make sure you line up. Make sure this is not Watch out, keep holding this card, and let's go like this. So you can see, it's actually hiding the card in the inside. You can see under, under, underneath it, just like that. Okay, so, that's what I am saying. so it's going like this. That's all that it's doing, right there. Okay, so I'll start from the top. I'll show you from the top. Like that. Give it a cover, just like that. And so, box. Go like that. Hold like that. Hold card. And then see this. And by magic, changing the card inside the jukebox that you'll see just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic droop magic box magic trick. Coming into our last one is our trick number 17. And that is the Boxing Day Mitt Box Prank. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. You see I've got this I, I, I glove here. Whoa, did you just see that? How did I do this? I'll show you what's done right now. All you're gonna need for this is a winter glove and you don't need is any box will do. Preferably the chicken, the um, soup noodle packs that you'll see here. What you want to do is gonna cut a hole into it, right here. What you want to do is gonna to make sure you have a nice black jacket like this. Put your hand in just like that, and then put your glove on like this. Hold the box like this. Make 
swings open, that way they can see the cloth. Why do you think swing this? Maybe. Rise above like that and twist. And bring that down here. So here is like this. Then. Like that. And then three, two, one. So let's stop it. Just like that. Click you do for box and eggs it involves the glove and the box. And it go all 17 tricks that you could do on Boxing Day and Boxing Eve. Um, coming up after this one, we're gonna get right into our train 2019's um, New Year's trick a video. We have four um, uh, one, ones coming up and then from there we'll get around right to our year of 2020 coming up after. If you want to know the information, you can go check out that video here on my channel. Thank you for watching.